Patrick Plunkett appears to have been the only other man who caught the Queen's eye, aside from her husband of 71 years Prince Philip Mountbatten. Queen Elizabeth II shared a close bond with Lord Plunkett, who helped her through marital woes in times of turbulence, according to a royal biographer. And it is a relationship that the 92-year-old monarch still thinks about daily, Christopher Wilson wrote in The Sun. Lord Dodd related articles Prince Philip, will Duke of Edinburgh in hospital make royal wedding? Prince Philip, shock line on Philip's hand shows intimacy issues she broke all royal protocol by ordering a royal funeral for him at St. James Palace, attending the emotional service herself. She even had a memorial temple built for him in Windsor Great Park, which remains a favorite spot for her to sit and think. Mr. Wilson gave an extraordinary insight into the secret life of the monarch, who has served the public tirelessly since her coronation on 2 June 1953. The Queen and Lord Plunkett had been childhood friends. His father, an Irish peer Lord Plunkett, was a friend of Elizabeth's parents, then the Duke and Duchess of York. His mother Dorothy was a half-American heiress. But when Lord Plunkett was just 15 his parents died in a plane crash and he inherited his father's title. When Elizabeth became queen, she appointed Lord Plunkett deputy master of the household. He was responsible for organizing the Queen's banquets, state receptions and Ascot house parties. Mr. Wilson said he reveled in it, loving nothing more than to please and surprise his royal boss. Prince Philip in Pictures, Life and Times of the Duke of Edinburgh Friday, March 23, 2018 A look back at his life as a boy, young man and royal consort. Play slideshow Giddy One of 26 Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh turned 94 on June 10, 2015, seen here in 1940 and 2014 as they discussed menus, guest lists and ways to keep boring guests at arm's length, they became closer. Lord Plunkett's cousin, Lady Annabel Goldsmith, said the guardsman was tall, impeccably dressed, with a voice full of merriment, and his eyes crinkled up with laughter. He radiated an irrepressible sense of fun. She added, he adored her from the outset. They enjoyed a very special connection. He was the one member of her staff who could talk to her on equal terms. Mr. Wilson wrote, in 1956, when Prince Philip disappeared off on a world tour for four months on the Royal Yacht Britannia, Plunkett provided a shoulder for the Queen to lean on, helping her through the lonely days and weeks. The Queen, every year of her reign in pictures through April 19, 2018 on February 8, 1952, Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II formally proclaimed herself Queen and Head of the Commonwealth and Defender of the Faith. Play slideshow Pa 1 of 66 Queen Elizabeth II on her coronation day on 2 June 1953 The Queen's biographer, Sarah Bradford added, he'd notice at parties if she was looking lonely, scoop her up and dance with her. Always there if she looked a bit lonely. While Philip was off dancing with one of his women friends, Plunkett would whirl Elizabeth onto the floor. However, any suggestion that their friendship may have turned romantic has been shot down by author and biographer Charles Hyam, as he believes Lord Plunkett was gay. Yet, the Queen's bond with her guardsmen endured even after his death. When a courtier asked her who would replace him and do his job, she said, no one will ever replace him, 